The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. your daddy. <clears throat> First, he turned down the volume, and then he fiddled with the fine tuning. And then when that didn't work, he... <laughs> <laughs> and then when that didn't work, what did he do? <laughs> oh, gee, kids, I'm sorry. I think the set's broken. Oh. <laughs> Nobody ever died from too much spelling. All right, Chris, you're not his mother. Thank goodness. <laughs> and that's enough out of you, too. Well, if the TV's broken, what do we do tonight? Oh, there are lots of things to do. Like what? We already did our homework. We could eat, but we just ate. <laughs> well, no, let's not fall apart because we can't look at television one night. I'm sure we can find plenty of things to do that'll be amusing. Oh, sure we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, there must be something better to do than stare at a dead television set. Oh, sure, there must be. <laughs> Mom, what did you used to do in the olden days before television? <laughs> well, we used... What do you mean, the olden days? <laughs> you know, Mom, I mean when you were kids. Oh, when we were kids, there were lots of things to do, like uh, taking a ride in a covered wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or going down to the beach to watch the pilgrims land. <laughs> Come to think of it, Viv, what did we do before television? We used to hit the radio. <laughs> I know what we used to do when I was a kid. We used to gather around the piano and sing songs on Sunday night. With Mitch Miller? No, not with Mitch Miller. We used to sing by ourselves, and we had a darn good time, too. How about it? Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Come on, let's have a real old-fashioned sing. Come on. Gather around. Ah, right over here now, fellas. Oh, this is going to be great. Now, what do we sing first, Lucy? How about the long, long trail? Good. There's a long, long trail of winding into the land of my dreams. Why aren't you singing? We don't know that one. You don't know the long, long trail? <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, oh, well, I know another one. How about this one? Away till the sun shines, Nelly, and the clouds go drifting. But you don't know that one either? I never heard of it. Oh, say. Well, now, what song would you kids like to sing? Do you know Ahab the Arab? <laughs> Ahab the who rap? Ahab the Arab, a song. That's a song? Oh, I know a good one. Papa Ooh Mau Mau. Yeah, Papa Ooh Mau Mau. Papa Ooh what? Papa Ooh Mau Mau. 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 Pap
Where'd you ever get that song? Ah, is that what you learn in school? I know one, Lucy. How about this one? What is it? Down by the old mill stream, not a river but the stream. When I heard you, not me but you, when I children these days, they just cannot entertain themselves. I guess you better have the television set fixed. Yeah, it's probably one of the tubes. I'll take them all down to Herb's TV repair tomorrow. Wouldn't it be simpler to have Herb come out here? Oh, heavens no. You know how much Herb charges to come out here. Be cheaper to have the Mayo brothers make a house call. <laughs> well, anyway, we got a whole evening to do anything we want. That's right. We got the whole evening to ourselves. Yeah. tested them all. Oh, are you sure? Maybe your tube tester needs testing. <laughs> Take my word for it, Mrs. Carmichael. I'm sure. Well, then what's wrong with my set? Well, I'm afraid I can't tell unless I come out to the house and take a look. Oh, no, Herb, I wouldn't want you to do that. No, I know you have better things to do than running all over town looking at people's TV sets. <laughs> what better things? Repairing TV sets is my business. Oh, well, I know, but you must get awfully sick of it. No, can't you just guess what's wrong with my set from here? Not unless I look at your television set. Well, Herbie, I was just thinking, why don't you come out to dinner tonight? <laughs> I know that you bachelors must get awful tired of eating out. Now, it won't be anything fancy. You just come and bring your big appetite and your little tool kit. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Carmichael. I never mix business with pleasure. Oh. Well, how much do you charge to make a house call? Eight dollars. Doctors only charge seven fifty. I know. That's why I quit medical school. <laughs> All right. When do you want to come out? Well, I could drop by this afternoon sometime. Are you sure it isn't one of the tubes, Herb? Oh, Mrs. Carmichael, when I diagnose All right, tube, all right. I'll see you this afternoon. <laughs> What is that complicated monster? That's our new TV antenna. Oh, so that's what was wrong with her set. Yeah, Herb said, quote, if you'd taken the time to look out in the side yard, you would have found out that it had blown down and saved yourself $8 for a house call. Ha ha, unquote. <laughs> Why's he going to put it up? He's not going to put it up. Why not? Because he wants $40 to do the job. Then who is going to put it up, I have an awful feeling? <laughs> now, don't jump to conclusions. You and I aren't going to have to do this. I have a plan. What is it? We're going to get some nice man to do it free of charge. Oh, and just how are we going to do that? We're going to use our womanly wiles. I didn't know we still had any. <laughs> Maybe some nice man will drop by this afternoon. 
Oh, sure. Nice men are always dropping by here. Cleaners! <laughs> Mr. Holly, you get it and leave the rest to me. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Holly. Hello, Mr. Holly. Hi Ben's there, Mr. Holly. How are you today? Hi, Miss Carmichael. <laughs> Is that, is that a television antenna? That's right. Mrs. Bagley and I are going to put this up on the roof. By yourselves? That's right. You two little ladies are going to get up on a ladder and sashay around the roof of a two-story house with that? That's right. Uh -huh. Well, by George, that's what I call spunky. <laughs> yeah, well, it does take a bit of courage, I'll say that. I... You, you know how steep our roof is? Why, it just drops right off. Well, you're regular daredevils. <laughs> well, we, we wouldn't really do this, only we don't have a man to do it for us. Well, I've got to hand it to you. <laughs> Most women would be moaning because there wasn't a man around the house. But not you two. You get right in and pitch in yourself and do it yourself. And that is the pioneer spirit that made this country great. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Holly. Well, who are you going to work on now, Wiley? <laughs> Oh, no, Lucy, I'm not going to go up on that roof. I wouldn't go up on that roof with this monster for anything. You know I'm now afraid of heights. Do you want to sit here another night with a dead television set or trying to whip up a community sing? I'll take my chances. Now, Lucy, off of a piano bench, but I'm not going to go up on that roof. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm starting up. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. I am. I am. Watch out! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, let's just say we've got one less window to clean. <laughs> say, All right, guide it. Hold on to it, then. Well, guide it a little better up there. It's tough enough down here. I'm doing the best I can All up right, here. All right, just There it is. I'm letting go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I got it. Ready? Yeah. All right. You sure you can't do it by yourself? No, I can't do it by myself. <laughs> Can I hang on to you while I get up? No, you can't hang on to me when you get up. I got all I can do to hang on to myself. Now what do I do? Get up here and help me balance this thing. <laughs> Yeah. Lucy. Yeah. There's something I don't understand. What? 
Why did you undo this like this? Couldn't you brought it up all in one piece? <laughs> did you ever try to put up a TV antenna? No, I didn't. Well, then come on and don't ask. so bad, was it? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I want you to promise me something. If this ever blows down again, don't you let anybody help you put it up but me. Oh, <laughs> oh I can see the city hall from here. Oh, Lucy. <laughs> it's a pretty sight. Hey, now we're all finished except adjusting this so that we get the best reception. Okay, adjust Now you go downstairs out. and you turn on the set and you call up to me from the chimney. <laughs> go downstairs? Yes. All by myself? <laughs> go on, Viv. And call up to me through the chimney. That's the only way I'll ever get it adjusted. All right. Oh, come on now. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have made my bed this morning. <laughs> Because I didn't. 
didn't know you were going to pick today to fall in the chimney. That oh, that's safe. Go get the ladder. Why? Go get the ladder. Don't ask questions. Just go get the ladder. <laughs> when I'm stuck in here getting hickory smoked hips. <laughs> What's your rush? Just take your time. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Can you make it to the letter or you carry it? Well, I think you better carry me. <laughs> I don't think 
I could walk to the ladder either. <laughs> Across the gable. Yeah. That way we'll get leverage. Put the side down here. Leverage? Yes. And make a seesaw. A seesaw? Yes. <laughs> now, you go on down the other end. Looking up, but get down to the okay, end. Okay, now it. what do I do? Push? No, sit on it. <laughs> sit on it? Well, you sit on it, Viv, and hurry up. You had to start a fire in here. <coughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I just teeter totter, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go. out this fire, sister. How can I put out the fire? The ladder's broke. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, the kids will be home from school pretty soon. Oh, no. Chris is having her music class and the boys are gonna play football till dinner time. <coughs> Viv, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Thanks to you, we got a hole in the roof, we've got to buy a new window, and we got to pay Harry for his ladder, and heavens knows how much damage that smoke is doing downstairs. <laughs> saving $40, your glorious idea of saving that money is going to cost us about 100 bucks. That's right, pick on me when I'm stuck in here getting hickory smoked hips. <laughs> Quest. 
kitchen. Just pull me out. I'm stuck. Oh, you're stuck in there? Uh, uh, okay, give me, give me right of hand, Lucy. Okay, oh. ready? Uh, uh, oh, oh pull them, pull! Oh, that's as much as I can, Lucy. Yeah. All right, I'm stuck, that's all. I'm just stuck. What are you doing in the chimney, anyway? <laughs> Testing to see if it's big enough for Santa Claus. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing in the chimney? Oh. Uh, <laughs> what's all that smoke? Where's that coming from? Uh, oh, see, I started a little fire in the fireplace. <laughs> you started a fire in the fireplace? Well, I thought it would be kind of cozy. Why did you have to pick the day to be cozy? Because I didn't know you were going to pick the day to fall in the chimney. That's oh, what say. Go get the ladder. Why? Go get the ladder. Don't ask questions. Just go get the ladder. <laughs> Why? Why? Just go get the ladder and hurry up. Uh, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> smoke is doing downstairs. <laughs> saving $40. Your glorious idea of saving that money is going to cost us about 100 bucks. That's right. Pick on me when I'm stuck in here getting hickory smoked hips. <laughs> <laughs> to drop in. Well, get you out of there. It won't take but a minute. Well, now, what's your rush? Just take your time. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Can you make it to the letter? You want to carry me? Well, I think you better carry me. <laughs> Up and get down to the okay, end. Okay, now what do I do? Push? No, sit on it. <laughs> sit on it? You sit on 
down it, Viv, and hurry up. You had to start a fire in here. <coughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I just teeter-totter, huh? Right. Okay, let's go. out this fire, sister. How can I put out the fire? The ladder's broke. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, the kids will be home from school pretty soon. Oh, no. Chris is having her music class and the boys are gonna play football till dinner time. <coughs> Viv, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Thanks to you, we got a hole in the roof, we've got to buy a new window, and we got to pay Harry for his ladder, and heavens knows how much damage that smoke is doing downstairs. <laughs> saving $40, your glorious idea of saving that money is going to cost us about 100 bucks. That's right, pick on me when I'm stuck in here getting hickory smoked hips. <laughs> What's wrong with my set? Well, I'm afraid I can't tell unless I come out to the house and take a look. Oh, no, Herb, I wouldn't want you to do that. No, I know you have better things to do than running all over town looking at people's TV sets. <laughs> what better things? Repairing TV sets is my business. Oh, well, I know, but you must get awfully sick of it. No, can't you just guess what's wrong with my set from here? <laughs> Not unless I look at your television set. Well, Herbie, I was just thinking, why don't you come out to dinner tonight? I know that you bachelors must get awful tired of eating out. Now, it won't be anything fancy. You just come and bring your big appetite and your little tool kit. Thank you, Mrs. Carmichael. I never mix business with pleasure. Oh. Well, how much do you charge to make a house call? Eight dollars. Doctors only charge seven fifty. I know. That's why I quit medical school. <laughs> When do you want to come out? Well, I could drop by this afternoon sometime. Are you sure it isn't one of the tubes, Herb? Oh, Mrs. Carmichael, when I diagnose All the right, tube, all right, I'll see you this afternoon. <laughs> What is that complicated monster? That's our new TV antenna. Oh, so that's what was wrong with her set. Yeah, Herb said, quote, if you'd taken the time to look out in the side yard, you would have found out that it had blown down and saved yourself $8 for a house call. Ha ha, unquote. <laughs> Why's he gonna put it up? He's not gonna put it up. Why not? Because he wants $40 to do the job. Then who is going to put it up, I have an awful feeling? <laughs> now, don't jump to conclusions. You and I aren't going to have to do this. I have a plan. What is it? We're going to get some nice man to do it free of charge. Oh, and just how are we going to do that? We're going to use our womanly wiles. I didn't know we still had any. <laughs> Maybe some nice man will drop by this afternoon. Oh, sure. Nice men are always dropping by here. Cleaners! Oh, Mr. 
Mr. Holly. You get it and leave the rest to me. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Holly. Hello, Hi Becky. there, Mr. Holly. How are you today? Hi, Miss Carmichael. <laughs> Is that, is that a television antenna? That's right. Mrs. Bagley and I are going to put this up on the roof. You, by yourselves? That's right. You two little ladies are going to get up on a ladder and sashay around the roof of a two-story... Lucy, yeah? There's something I don't understand. What? Why did you undo this like this? Couldn't you brought it up all in one piece? <laughs> did you ever try to put up a TV antenna? No, I didn't. Well, then come on and don't... Ask. so bad, was it? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I want you to promise me something. If this ever blows down again, don't you let anybody help you put it up but me. Oh, <laughs> oh I can see the city hall from here. Oh, Lucy. <laughs> it's a pretty sight. Hey, now we're all finished except adjusting this so that we get the best reception. Okay, adjust Now you go downstairs out. and you turn on the set and you call up to me from the chimney. <laughs> go downstairs? Yes. All by myself? <laughs> go on, Viv. And call up to me through the chimney. That's the only way I'll ever get it adjusted. All right. Oh, come on now. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have made my bed this morning. <laughs> Connected the wire. 